Yeah, man. What you gonna need is a tube of ground beef. You gonna need some good hamburger buns, cause buns matter, you hear me? And then, you gonna need this sauce right here, or marinade, you can use it for either or. But man, it is so fine, it's the business, you hear me? Nook Chum, a Vietnamese sauce that is great as a marinade or a dipping sauce. And we gonna use it on these burgers right here. You can use it on steak as well, but we gonna use it for these burgers today. And what I need you to do is, Dip it in the nook chunk. Flip it over six, seven, eight, nine times. You know what I'm saying? However many times you see sufficient, just as long as it's coated real very well. You know what I'm saying? And set it on the pan and we're gonna let it chill in the refrigerator, uncover for one to four hours. And two today ain't got nothing on it, you know. That's for my little girl, you know what I'm saying? She don't like nothing. And then we're gonna try it on this grill, this $20 grill, which is my best friend, only for flavor and color, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna put it in the oven to finish. And the temperature that we're looking for is 150 for me. You know what I'm saying? You do what you do, but 150 is good for me on these burgers in the oven. And then we topped it with a little aged gouda. You know what I'm saying? Not nothing too strong, not nothing too mild. You hear me? And then we move to the star of the show, which is the mushroom. The mushrooms is what really make this burger so exciting. I know that marinade fire, but you know what I'm saying? These mushrooms is the biggest. What's up, y'all? Let me interrupt your lesson right quick to let you know or remind you that I am Kaneen Cuisine, the smoked lamb specialist. I have some of the best smoked racks of lamb you ever had. And it's right here in Memphis, Tennessee. Go to KaneenCuisine.com for pricing and details. And I swear, if it ever get in your mouth, you gonna come back, you gonna want another one, and I'ma give it to you, you heard me. Let's talk mushrooms. Now, these mushrooms were washed with water and spun dry in a salad spinner, which is a no-no. You should always just brush your mushrooms. But these mushrooms were so dirty, man, I had to go and break the law, you hear me? So if you can avoid that, don't wash it with no water. Cause they already hold a lot of water. See the water already leaking out now. But it's gonna be a, 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 a real big ocean in this skillet, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the further we go into this thing. So uh, we're gonna add a little butter, half a stick in the front, then we're gonna come with another half stick in the back. And what this butter gonna do, while mixed with this water, is create an emulsion which is gonna be slick a sauce. See that big ocean going on, man? There's water everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Mushrooms let out a whole lot of water, but it's even more water because I washed them in water. You know what I'm saying? Mushrooms are a sponge. You know what I'm saying? You got to gotta be careful with them things. There's a science to these mushrooms. So what we adding right now is shallots and Fresno chilies diced up. And uh, that's going to add flavor because these, these mushrooms are going to be cold. I don't know if you had no mushroom this cold on a burger before, but this is what you're going to have if you do what I be doing. And then we put in a little kosher salt, but this is diamond crystal, which is a very unsalted salt, so you can slick go ham. And we also put some uh, garlic in there too. I waited kind of late to put the garlic in because I don't like my garlic to burn. And we got this soy shot right here. The soy shot is soy sauce, fish sauce, and brown sugar, man. It's gonna bring tremendous umami to any anything like mushroom, your sauteed veggies, Man, you're gonna be fine. And see, we we gonna finish off with this butter, but see, the way we treated the butter in the beginning, we ain't gonna do it like that on the end because we just want this butter to melt. We don't want it to break and become an oily mess. So the key with this is just letting it, letting it just melt naturally in the skillet, off heat, and just let it shake, just shake it down. Just keep on shaking it and let it melt naturally because if you try to stir it, which I'm going to do right here, I'm going to break the law in a minute. But also add, you know, add your fresh herbs. You know, I chose chives right here. Chives is, is, is pretty good. Nice color, nice addition of flavor, but don't be stirring. If you can help stirring, do not do that and just let your butter melt naturally while shaking. So it looked like this right here. I cheated a little bit. I won this time, but man, there's so many times I didn't win when I was stirring. But these buttery mushrooms right here are so fat on the burger. And the only condiment you need is habanero garlic by Duke's, the mayo. 
Man, it's so fire. I'm trying to tell you, man, the only thing you need with this burger, and you're going to have something so fire. You hear me? Yeah, man, you know what time it is. It's taste time, so. I ain't got no napkin. But, <clears throat> whoa, but I think I did good for me because I'm normally taking real big bites. That's good right there. I'm telling you now, if you try that recipe at home, man, they gonna love it. Now, people who gonna have a problem with it is people that are uh, health nuts or people who ain't adventurous. But if you want a burger filled with umami, that's what you're gonna get with that right there, man. It's gonna be full of umami. I hope. Ain't nothing on my list right now. Ain't nothing I can do, but I'm just gonna keep it real because when you eat sometimes, your mouth get nasty, man. So, but anyway, man, that burger is good. That's one of my favorite burgers to do. The mushroom burger. Soaked in the nook chum. That's what you call it. It's a Vietnamese sauce called nook chum. And then you got the... uh the mushroom with the with the soy sauce and fish sauce and a little sugar with the butter, man. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. So amazing. I can't wait till y'all try it. So that's that. I thank y'all all the time. We're going to try to keep putting more videos out. I know it's been a while, but you just got to bear with me, man. I got a business going on now and, and trying to do these this and that's. But I guarantee it's going to be better. Thank you for sticking with me this far. And uh, follow me on Facebook, Kaneen Cuisine. Follow me on Instagram, Kaneen.Cuisine on Instagram. Just keep up with me, man. And I appreciate you for uh, clicking that button. Matter of fact, like, share, and subscribe this video right here. Tell everybody about Kaneen Cuisine. Man, I love y'all. Thank y'all. Man, I love what I do. Man, I, I, I enjoy this, man, every time. So try that recipe, man. Everything going to be in the description box below the video. So go on, check that out if you really want to do this video, man, or this my, this recipe, I'm sorry. Go ahead, check it out. And uh, that's it. You heard me?